Hey everyone, and welcome to Will's Week in Whiskey, the weekly YouTube show brought to you by the podcast, where I go over some of the headlines and happenings in the world of whiskey over the past week or so. We got a few interesting stories here today. This is going to be kind of like the luxury edition of Will's Week in Whiskey because of some of these offerings that have hit the news over the past week. So Michter's, they put out a, a series of higher aged whiskeys. We know every year they put out the 10 year bourbon and the 10 year rye is kind of their limited release that you see, but they sometimes get these older, more ultra aged whiskeys that come out. Sometimes there's been a 20 year and even a 25 year. Well, there's been a hiatus on the 25 year. We haven't seen a bottle of that hit the market since 2017. So a three year hiatus. But they announced this past week, uh, master distiller Dan McKee, he actually approved some 25-year-old barrels to be released this November as a new edition of the 25-year bourbon. Now, this is going to be a cast strength offering. It's 116.2 proof, uh, but it will come with the hefty price tag of a suggested retail price of $1,000. So not something you're just going to casually pick up in the store. You may not even buy it if you have the opportunity to because of that hefty price tag. But it is interesting to see a cast strength 25 year bourbon hit the marketplace. And I look forward to reading reviews about this. Maybe some by some chance we'll have the opportunity to try it. And if we do, you better believe I'll tell you all about it. But it, like I said, it's an interesting thing to see something that's that high of proof uh, and that high of age hit the marketplace. So no word on how many bottles will hit or how many barrels went into that batch that they're putting out. But I imagine it's rather small and those barrels probably didn't contain much whiskey left in them after 25 years of aging. Next, uh, Woodford Reserve had announced their uh, Baccarat edition of their whiskey, which is uh, the Woodford Reserve in the Baccarat Crystal, which is the French crystal that is world-renowned, and it was only in duty-free shops for a period of time. Well, they had success with this in the duty-free shops, and for the first time, it's being offered in the U.S. marketplace, so U.S. consumers will be able to buy it without traveling abroad and picking it up in a duty-free shop. Now, it is a, a luxury crystal item. I believe it takes something like five days for an individual artisan to make each decanter. And that raises the price. You know that this crystal is expensive in and of itself. But uh, it's a $2,000 price tag here in the United States if you want to pick up a bottle. Now, it's not just standard Woodford Reserve in the bottle. They do have it extra aged about three to five years in XO cognac casks. So a lot of French influence going on with both the crystal and the cognac cask extra aging. But um, this is one that if you see in a bar, it's still probably going to have a hefty price tag to purchase because of the $2,000 MSRP on it. Now it comes in a nice, beautiful display box, which is very popular with some of these high end edition whiskeys. But once again, you're paying $2,000 for a bourbon. About 2000 bottles are being released to the US market and it's a 90.4 proof. So uh, right around the normal Woodford Reserve proof there, but uh, it has that extra aging, so a different flavor, more complexity on that. And finally, we have an interesting story out of upstate New York. Now, a couple were doing some renovations on their home, and the, the home was rumored to have been owned at one point by a bootlegger. People love to hear stories about their old houses and, and things like that, but they said that they didn't give it much credit, that story, just kind of a, a local folklore and things of that nature. But they were doing some renovations on the house and actually found the walls lined with whiskey from the 1920s. And they were packaged in, in some in straw and other ways, and they were fitted into the walls lining the house. And Nick Drummond, who was revealing this on his Instagram page, he's the owner of the house. He goes by the handle bootlegger bungalow. So it's very appropriate for the house. And he shared that they have found at least 60 bottles thus far. And there are more compartments they keep finding in the floorboards that have like hatches that they open up. And they're looking through and they're finding more and more bottles as they go along this renovation. So uh, they haven't seen any bottles that are bourbon or rye yet. One does have an appropriately named 
smuggler's whiskey, and it says it's from Scotland. But it is interesting if he keeps going through, maybe if he'll find some vintage rye whiskey or some vintage bourbon, and maybe it'll be a brand we recognize. So I'm going to follow him at Bootlegger Bungalow to watch as they go along and find more whiskey hidden away in their house. So if you're in a renovation project and you've got an old home, maybe be on the lookout for some vintage spirit inside the walls. That's going to do it for this week on Will's Week in Whiskey. Hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you want more videos like this, ring the bell. You'll get a notification. And if you are a podcast listener, thank you for listening and for thank you for watching here. If you don't know about the podcast, check it out at thepodcast.com. It's our podcast about whiskey with me and my buddy Grease. We have a lot of fun. I think you'll enjoy it. So that's all for this week on Will's Week in Whiskey. We'll see you next time.